let's talk anime. My Hero Academia Edition. G'day guys, it's Jara here and welcome back to the YouTube channel, ladies, gentlemen, non-binary people, XYZ, whatever you want to call yourself. Hi. How are ya? How are ya? <laughs> Today, as you can tell by the title, we're doing a Let's Talk Anime My Hero Academia Edition, aka Bokuro no Hero Edition. I'm super excited because I just want to get more into things I'm into lately. Right now I'm really into gotten back into anime, so I want to talk about the anime that I'm really into right now. And that is Bokuro no Hero, aka My Hero Academia. Let's begin. Now, my non-anime expert synopsis of the entire thing is a bunch of teenagers want to be heroes. They go into a hero they go into a hero training high school. And along the way we follow the character whose nickname is Deku. Um, or Izuru Mora, I'm so bad at saying the names, I apologize, but his nickname is Deku. We follow his journey on how he gets there and all the friends he makes and as well as all the drama and all of the weirdness that happens along the way. I recommend watching it if you're not like hugely into anime but you like want to try something because you know, you hear about this anime thing going around a lot and you're like, hmm, I might try some out when I dabble. What, I, what should I dabble in first? Bokuro no Hero, My Hero Academia. Mwah. Beautiful. Now why do I love it? I think that's what we should be talking about. I love it because I'm not a particular person who, you know, is who watches anime who gets either... Wow, I need to take this. I don't watch animes that are too extreme or random or out of the blue. I love to watch animes that have a realistic feature to them. Something I can relate to and that can be some, like a little bit funny or that has to be like a funny aspect to it. Now, I loved My Hero Academia because of the character, the story outline, outline, and it's just an amazing animation with some really great comedy in it. So let's talk about the characters. There's a variety of characters going from male to female and every other animal version. Each character has their own quirk. If you don't know what, their, what the quirk is, basically it's like their hero. If they were a hero, what's their superpower? So you go from gravity to frog-like abilities to electricity to multiple arms to all the might to everything in between and you get to experience what these characters, how they use their quirks, how they learn to use their quirks and how to look at their positive and their negative sides, their strengths and their weaknesses and how that can incorporate on their quirks which is really cool and really interesting to watch and um, everyone has their strengths and weaknesses and it's good to find how this anime teaches them how to find their balance while as well having some teachers who still need to learn that as well so that's one thing I love about the characters as well as the designs of the characters are beautiful I'm actually going to be cosplaying as Deku but a female version so I'm gonna have green long hair and the animated like school cosplay girl outfit for Comic Con that is coming up soon in Adelaide, South Australia. So if you're going to Comic Con, I will be going on the 6th of July 2019. I will be there with a bunch of my friends to look out for a long green haired girl with some green eyebrows, possibly some green contacts and an anime style outfit. I'm going to make a video on how I get into my cosplay once all of it has arrived. Next, Whew. favorite characters. Obviously I can go with Deku which is the main character who we all love because he's such a little cutie and appreciate them all. My personal favourite characters are, and I'm just going to go by their quirks, and if I remember I'll put up photos here of them all. So I just said Deku is one which is this green haired broccoli cutie. <laughs> Next we have Okulachan which is my personal favourite which is this character here. She is the gravity girl where she basically touches things and it can levitate or she can you know change the I don't say buoyancy but that's not really correct she just changes the gravity of the item that she touches including people the other one is also floppy flop floppy yeah which is this character here her quirk is a frog and she always has her tongue out like this <laughs> and she's super cool she's really funny and a bit of a weird character but we love her anyway and my other favorite 
character, if I had to choose a male character, would have to be Todoroki, which is this half and half right here. He has, his quirk is half ice and half fire due to his backstory, which I'm not going to share in here, but let's just say he's a pretty cool character that I really love and enjoy. Now, whoop, get rid of that. Obviously with every anime, you're going to have ships. What is my ship? Who do I ship with who? If you don't know the anime, I recommend going watching it so you can understand more what I'm talking about. But if you don't know, that's okay too. My personal ships, I believe, is Deku and Okutan, which is the the ones I showed you with the green hair and the short brown hair with, that's gravity. I think they're such a really cute couple. I'm not into the Deku and... I can never say his name right, but... Um, Baku ship, which is the this one here, green hair, yellow spiky boy, who gets angry very quickly because he's pretty much an anti-hero, let's all be honest here. I don't really ship them together, but hey, they're cute. The, the other ship I kind of low-key ship together is this one here, which is the girl, which I can't remember these two characters' names right now, but it's the girl with purple hair, with, um, she has like, Ejax as her quirks, so you can plug them into walls. And I ship her with the English jar. Come on. I ship her with electricity boy. He gets his quirk is electricity, like, but he gets a little dumb if he uses too much of it. And the final quirk, final wow, final couple that I ship together is these two here, which is Idoa and the other really smart girl, which I can't think of her name right now. <laughs> But these two right here. Um, I just feel like that they mash really well together. They're both very strong headed characters, but would really bounce off each other really well. So that's with my ships. If I'm not doing any of these editings, which I do all of them anyway, but if I forget, imagine. Um, but yeah, I rate this anime out of my anime rating out of 1 to 10. I give it probably like a 9.5 because. A is so well known by everyone, B is such a really good anime with great comedy lines, with a really good story that progresses throughout each of the seasons that you really just want to keep watching, and character designs are amazing, and it's all overall just really great. I don't really have any negatives to it, I think it's just really good, I think my only negative to it is I'd love to know more about Deku's past, I'd love to know more about his past. And you know, like what happens. Just I don't know. I think more in depth about his past would be really cool, from my personal opinion, and things like that. I think that stuff would be really cool. But I hope there's a season four coming out soon, because that would be amazing. Ah! Um. But yeah, that is this episode of anime. I already forgot what I called this, but my Hero Academia edition of. I'm watching this anime or whatever I called it. Thank you all so much for watching. And if you did, let me know in the comments below. Tell me if you're a Bakuro no Hero fan. And if you are, tell me who's your favorite and who do you ship with who. And if you're just an anime fan, give me some recommendations in the comment section below because I'd love to watch some more animes that you guys recommend. And anyway, drat, see you guys in the next video. Oh, sorry, sarcasm out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Hey all. I just got my hair cut by my mum, so I'm just like feeling myself, you know, because now I can't see. For all the people who stay behind, what would be your quirk? I think my quirk would be the ability to hear things super duper well, either that or just mother the living daylights out of everyone because I mother everybody, like everybody. People probably hate it. I think that would be my weakness is like that over mother people. But you know what? People love me. <laughs> oh well. Ah.